Now, with the level of concern surrounding KuCoin on Twitter, you would think that the corporate offices are on fire right now and people are jumping out of buildings. But that's not the case. There's a lot of people on Twitter spouting off saying that KuCoin is in major trouble because they are offering very high APRs. They're offering APRs that are roughly 100, 200% on Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I want to discuss that. Because these people are not looking at what these APRs are. And, and I believe it's going to calm a lot of nerves if we understand what's going on instead of just jumping out of the building because somebody screams fire. So we're going to be breaking down these KuCoin dual investments, what they mean for you, how you can actually make some money if you want to use them. But I will say. There's no such thing as a perfect centralized exchange. KuCoin is not free and clear of any concerns. Neither is Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, or anything for that matter. Centralized cryptocurrency exchanges are at risk. So, you know, do with that what you will, but uh, it's, it's not because of the high APRs. Let's discuss it. And of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you guys do want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, use leverage, and and so on. You've got KuCoin and Binance down there, and they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. And like I said, okay, if you're trading, great. Centralized exchanges are cool. If you're holding, you're going to be more secure with DeFi and cold storage wallets. But if you scroll through and you see KuCoin with over 100,000 tweets trending on Twitter today, and these are the kind of stuff you're seeing. Is KuCoin running out of liquidity? Giving such high APR is concerning. If you hold on KuCoin, withdraw now. This is not a drill. Video coming later. Uh, then, of course, you got some announcements by KuCoin and things like that. And uh, can someone please tell me why KuCoin is having some hot, ridiculously high APRs right now? Over 200% with all the liquidity problems in crypto lately. This is, is this really the best time for this? Yes, it is. So I'm going to jump into what these are, right? There's a lot of concern about these high APRs and you need to think of them. This is called the KuCoin dual investment. What it essentially is, is a cryptocurrency option, very similar to what a stock option is. And if you guys are unfamiliar with stock options, you can go back and watch some of the videos I've got on those or do a quick take. But basically, they provide you with the option or the right to buy or sell and so on. But these dual investments with KuCoin are very similar to selling a covered call. So what do they look like? We're going to use the Ethereum one for an example on the KuCoin platform here just to make the numbers slightly easier to understand and so on. And the Ethereum APRs are ranging. Okay, These APRs change based on the price changing. They're ranging somewhere in the 160 to 180. That's 160 to 180 percent annualized return range. So that's the thing you need to keep in mind. And in the, the time frame, on these dual investments are set up as such. You need to have your one your one Ethereum to, to bring into your investment or your USDT. So we're going to pretend that you've got one Ethereum in this example and you put it up. You're essentially selling your covered call, right? So what happens then is you pick your time frame. And the shorter the time frame, the higher the APR. And when you go out there and you select a one day time frame, that's the lowest that you can choose. You're going to roughly get that 180% annualized percentage return. So you're going to make 180% annualized returns. If, okay, if this is the big, if this is what happens here, the settlement date and, and the target price are what you need to keep your eye on. Very similar to a strike price and an expiration date 
in stock options. So if you're on the KuCoin platform and you're looking to, to get that 180% annualized return on Ethereum, what does this look like? You, you put your Ethereum up for the one day. And right now, the target price for the one day Ethereum is $1,250. Here's what that's saying. If Ethereum closes the day on that settlement period below $1,250, what you are going to receive is your Ethereum plus the prorated 180% annualized return. Now, what does that mean for you? That means that you get if, if Ethereum closes anywhere below 1250 you get your Ethereum plus about $6, right? The $6 is your, your 180% annualized return prorated for the one-day settlement period. It's $6. It's a $6 gain that you made. Now, here's the thing that you need to consider. That is roughly a half a percent increase. That's a half percent when you take the 180 divided by 365 days. So if you're moving from 1200 to 1250, you would have been better off, right? You, you you still have your Ethereum. You're doing good there. You got your Ethereum back and you're making that six plus percent return or six dollar return, not six plus percent. Sorry. But if the price of Ethereum continues to rise, if it goes anywhere beyond the one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, what you are getting back is the one is the settlement price. That $1,250 plus your 180% annualized rate, which is your $6 return. So the maximum that you can receive out of this deal is $1,256. If Ethereum goes up to $1,500, you don't get to capitalize on those capital gains. You've essentially sold your call option. You've essentially sold that call contract so that you limit your maximum gain but you also protect yourself from the downside return. So if Ethereum goes up to $1,300, you're gonna be losing out on some money because you've capped your max return. Now they can do this. This is not some sort of uh, a liquidity crunch crisis. These are essentially cryptocurrency options at play here. If you invest in them, what you're saying is, okay, I'm guaranteeing, I'm guaranteeing myself a, a slight return here to protect myself from any sideways or downward action. However, if cryptocurrency and in, in starts to rally and the prices are moving higher, I am limiting my upside action and KuCoin or the market maker in that sense is the one who's going to be benefiting. So if you guys are looking at these high APRs, it's not like KuCoin is offering you a guaranteed 180% to stake your cryptocurrency with them or just to hold it on their platform and so on. They're offering you the option to, to basically sell these cryptocurrency options and, and it's not an unsustainable way, right? They are clearly going to benefit from the rise in cryptocurrency by offering very small rewards in in terms of the the settlement days and the periods there because as soon as you start to draw those days out or as soon as you start to increase the settlement price the the rewards drastically lower as well so it's it's look like I said at the beginning of the video, KuCoin is not immune from any liquidity problems. They are not immune from a crash like FTX and so on. No exchanges. I don't care if you're talking about Coinbase, Crypto.com, Binance, or so on. But these, these dual investments that they have out there, understand them before you start to freak out. You, you know, touch the doorknob before you just jump out the window and make sure that there actually is a fire going on before you start to scream. Think about The Office, right? Remember that Office episode where everybody starts freaking? Don't let that be you. Understand what you're investing in, understand the concerns, and understand the realities. So I want to know what you guys think. Tell me your thoughts on KuCoin down in the comments below, whether or not you're scared and so on, and whether or not these dual investments make sense when comparing them to selling covered calls in the stock market. Let us know down there. And of course, with that button right there still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a pro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you guys got Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance down in the description, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.